Um, I think Sharks is essentially a book about true crime. These are real life criminals. All the criminals um, in the book have criminal records. Um, they've all been to jail. But it's more, I think, than just how these criminals work. It's more than just the crimes that they commit. I've really tried in the book to dig a little bit deeper and find out what makes these people tick. I've been uh, filming criminals uh, for about four years for the BBC, National Geographic Channel and ITV. Um, and I, I sort of feel as though often when we're making television programmes you get to see these criminals for a minute or two on screen because that's all we can give them. We've, we've got 48 minutes to tell a whole story. Um, and so we need to condense that criminal into one or two sound bites. But in the book, I've actually gone back to the transcripts of the interviews that I did with those criminals. Often, I, I, I was talking to that person for two hours, and in that two hours they revealed to me not just one or two sound bites, they told me who they were, how they got into it, why they do it, you know, what makes them tick, what do they enjoy about it. You know, they, they're so much more, more rounded as characters um, than you'll ever have time to see in a TV show. And I see these people as predators and they see us, I think, as prey. We are the weak, the vulnerable, the small fish and they lie in wait until we're in exactly the right position and then they strike. I went to New Orleans in the middle of Mardi Gras. Um, I was in Mexico City looking at kidnapping. I was in South America and Buenos Aires with forgers. And then uh, in Europe, I was in Barcelona with thieves. And I looked at London, my hometown where I live. I think only fair to, to look at my town if I'm going around the world looking at other towns. Um, and even Birmingham, the town where I grew up in, um, in the UK is, uh, is, is featured. And even in Birmingham where my, my mum and my brother and my family still live, um, there are sharks there too. Often my search in the city starts with petty crime on the streets, the kind of petty crime that you or I might fall victim to when we're on our holidays. Um, but what I found again and again was that I didn't have to pull the thread very hard before I worked my way up a chain and, and found that really these petty criminals are only one or two steps removed from some really, really serious criminals. Someone pointed a gun at me in New Orleans, I was terrified. Someone pointed a gun at me again in Buenos Aires, I was terrified. You know, every single time that I find myself in a locked room with a, a killer, you know, and let's call them what they are, often these people are killers, um, I'm, I'm, I'm scared, yeah, I'm scared. Um, and I'm, I'm also adrenalised, you know, I ask myself what am I doing when I'm, when I'm, when I'm in these situations? Why am I here? Why, why do I keep putting myself in these dangerous situations? And I, I if I'm honest with myself, I probably feel adrenalised in those situations. I know I'm onto a good story. I know I'm halfway through telling a story and the next link in the chain requires me to put myself in these dangerous situations. I mean, everything that made me want to write this book is, is, is in Tony Soprano. He, you know, he's bad and he's evil and he's devious and he's clever, but at the same time he's, he's vulnerable uh, and he's proud, he's got human weaknesses. I think when we watch criminals on TV, we're sort of presented with these quite rounded characters who are, they're, they're bad guys, but we're sort of led to believe they have a softness to them, they have, they have a vulnerability, they have um, an, an empathy and a weakness um, that, that draws us to them. And I, I, I guess the question that I was asking myself when I, when I was meeting a lot of real life criminals was how does the real life criminal stack up against the fictional criminal? Um, I loved Hector Fernandez. I've got to say, of all the people that I met on my travels, there was something so classy about him. He did not come across as a hardened criminal. He came across as a nice, friendly old uncle. And I think that really encapsulates a lot of what this book is about, is that these criminals that are living amongst us, that we are constantly falling victim to, are human beings. 
I don't want people to not travel. I want people to, to travel but with their eyes opened. You know, to, to, be, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So I hope that people can read this book and realise these are the danger spots, these are the things to look for, these are the warning signs, and if you know where those warning signs are, then hopefully you will travel with more confidence because you will travel more safely.